Hi everyone! In today's video, we're gonna take you with us to another local area here in Istanbul. This time, we want to show you another picturesque neighborhood and very local on the Asian side of the city. We would love to show you Cengilköy and also another palace which is worth a visit. So if you want to discover this beautiful neighborhood with us, we recommend you to watch this video. Cengelköy is very easy. When you get off from the ferry and coming to Üsküdar, you will just cross the street towards uh, the mosque and you will see a bus stop here. You can take any of the 15 going to that direction and Cengelköy is just after Kuskinju. We will be leaving the numbers of those buses that, that you can take to that direction. and we are gonna do just as locals do so when you are also traveling or going to another city or country you just have to follow what the residents locals are doing and this time that's what we're doing so we're gonna go to one amazing place which we're we're gonna be showing you right now while eating some awesome budek before entering we had to show our head code and our temperature was taken famous here in Chingilpe area. This is a tea garden and many of the locals come here especially during the weekdays. Here you can bring even things from outside. For example, you can do as we just did. You can buy some bure, which we already show you. You can just buy something, kwacha, bure, or anything you want. You can bring it here inside. If you come early, you will have the chance to get a good table next by the phosphorus. And the only thing that you can do here is just order some tea and even some, some menemen as well. In our case, we ordered some menemen, the tea, and we bought from outside some bread. You can just sit here, enjoy the beautiful views, have a good breakfast, and the best part of it, do as locals do. So hopefully you will be enjoying this place. We will keep showing you more. After our breakfast, we decided to walk through the main area of Cengilköy, where we can also find many colorful little streets and houses. But at the same time, this area is also famous for the chocolate shops. For that reason, we decided to come to this restaurant and have a coffee and enjoy some good chocolates.
looking to experience some other nice views that we can have from this area especially from the seaside so if you're coming to this area don't stay just in the main area just we also recommend you to take a walk enjoy this area which offers beautiful beautiful views Kuleli is another nice district just 7 minutes away by foot from Çengelköy. Here we can also see the oldest military high school in Turkey, Kuleli, founded in 1845 during the reign of Sultan Abdulmajid I. The views from this area are spectacular and peaceful. He started following us because we were petting him back there and he just started walking with us so I just found a new friend in this neighborhood. He's, a, he's very cute. Now we're going to another place which if you're here in the area you should definitely visit. This is another palace which is by the Bosphorus and to go there you just have to take again one bus from Çengelköy Chen station which is right here and it will leave you there after two or three stations. Before walking to Vailerveyi, you can check out this park. It also has a great views from the Bosphorus and locals come here to fish or just to sit and enjoy the environment. We are finally in this beautiful place and if you're around Çengelköy, we highly recommend you come into this other palace. Of course, the most famous one and the most visited one is Dolmabache, but this one on the Asian side also totally worth a visit. Of course, we won't be uh, entering inside because they don't allow filming or taking pictures, but if you want to only come to the, to the gardens and also take pictures or do some filming, you can do it for only five Turkish liras per person. As you can see, there are many beautiful places where you can take beautiful photos and also it's just next to the bridge. So you can enjoy stunning views from this point. The palace was built between 1863 and 1865 and was mostly used as a summer palace. This was also a guest house to high-level state guests. Here we can immerse in an elegant architecture surrounded by beautiful gardens located right on the edge of the Bosphorus. These were other amazing alternatives that you can do in Istanbul. If you have some extra time and if you want to explore more local areas and different things apart from the most touristic ones, you can definitely come here. Hopefully you have liked this episode and if you want to keep receiving more weekly tips and recommendations about Istanbul, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.